Hello, good morning. How are you? How is everyone? I want to talk to you today about how to get more response on your posts and your lives. Are you posting and doing your lives but not getting a lot of engagement? Then maybe we should be looking at, you know, your content and how you're presenting yourself and, you know, to be more inspiring, motivational, educational and just how to get more response on uh, what you're putting out on social media and so welcome that's my topic for today if you're joining me live please say hello and tell me where you're coming from and if you're on the replay then let me know it's replay and i will get back to you uh, later so if we haven't met before my name is olive dodd and i'm here on my business page to help you bring your business online using social media strategies, attraction marketing to uh, help you build your business without chasing family and friends and using attraction marketing and social media uh, to really leverage your business. And we don't want to do it the traditional way of chasing our family and friends, but to actually uh, build our business online the modern way. So welcome. And so today, let's get into our topic. And so first of all, what is it that you're bringing uh, to social media? So what is the topic? And, you know, are you bringing value? And so that comes back to your branding and who your target market is. And so, you know, what are their pains and their problems? And are you solving that problem? And so are you bringing value? And so what's your intent behind your message you know are you trying you know to really uh, sell something and you know is that your motivation or do you want to really educate and motivate your audience so are you bringing value so it's a place of giving and not what you can get so what's your motivation behind your post you know so Think about that and then think where you're coming from then that determines you know the value and the the message that you're going to be giving out and so that's really key and uh, second tip so I have seven tips for you so the second one is not to be boring and so to have some flair some energy and smile you know make people laugh and you know um, just, you know, don't go, just go through the motions, you know, but have some energy into it, you know, maybe change up your background, change your filters, uh, just liven things up a little bit. And so that, you know, you have some energy and maybe I find that it's helpful for me to actually stand um, when I'm doing my live. And so then I can move around a little bit more and have a little bit uh, more energy rather than being, if you're sitting then I find that you get very stagnant and, you know, your voice tends to slow down. But standing, you can move and have energy and, and just kind of move with your, um, speak with your hands and your body. So if that works for you, but yeah, just liven things up a little bit. And tip number three is to maybe play on some of the things that are current. Um, it could be, you know, what time of year it is. Right now it's summer here, but it's kind of a cool morning, um, you know, or what's going on, what's the latest uh, dance or music or a toy or, you know, what your kids are into or something like that, you know, bring a little bit of what's going on or a little bit of your life into it. I just got back from uh, my holiday and so this is my first day back on live in you know back in my home so I'm back on the right time it was very difficult you know to do lives when I'm traveling because there was a four hour time difference and also you know you're involved in traveling and Friday I couldn't do it because I was on a plane all day and and that kind of thing and so it was a very long day so bring a little bit of your life into it too so and and that adds to you know some interest and then uh, tip number four is to also um, be active on social media, to show up. So, um, you know, to engage on other people's posts. So it's not just a one-way street. So you're not just, you know, doing your own information, 
but you're interacting with other people, you know, commenting on their, their posts and liking it and that kind of thing. And so just to engage with other people. And it's also um, more interesting that way, you know, you, you're starting to learn more about other people and you know what their interests are and what's going on with for other people so that's really really key and uh, yeah and join groups and things like that and tip number five is to uh, be visual so when people are scrolling through their feed um, you know what's going to stop them you know to stop and look and read and listen to your post or your live and so, for example, on a live, uh, there's a description and you get about maybe two or three lines at the top and then it goes into a show more. And so those first two or three lines are really, really important because that's going to tell everybody what you're going to be talking about, what your topic is. And if that's a good headline, then they're going to stop and listen to your your live and i've mentioned on a previous live that the first 30 seconds or a minute of your live is really important to say what it is you're going to be talking about because people will maybe listen to the first few minutes and decide if they're going to continue to listen to you and so that's really key is to uh, get right into it right away and you know say what you're going to be talking about rather than you know trying to set up and waiting for people to come on and that kind of thing and you're going to lose people so um, just get into it right away and I just have to turn my notes over here <laughs> to the second page okay so tip number six is to then ask people to respond um, so get to ask them to in, be engaged um, but the other also have to be careful about engagement baiting and using certain words and I think I already mentioned them in my previous uh, tip but anyway I have this little cheat note here oops wrong way around um, these are the words that you should not be saying because they are considered um, to be engagement baiting so Facebook doesn't want you to tell people what to do or using those words. And so instead you could ask a question and uh, for instance, like, what do you think? Or have you found that this works for you? Or, you know, do you have other ideas, um, you know, related to this topic? Do you have some other ideas that work for you? That kind of thing. So using anything but those words, <laughs> and because that's considered engagement baiting. Okay, and then the last tip is invoking emotion um, because emotions really touch you. And so if it's a maybe a motivational quote or a story, uh, you know, like there was one um, about an airplane ride and it, you know, how people were, you know, so busy caught up in their day-to-day -day, uh, lives that you know they don't really appreciate you know what they have and then kind of the scenario was is you got the idea that you know maybe the plane wasn't going to survive you know some turbulence and so then just to realize you know um, what kind of mood are you in and just anyway the story invoked a lot of emotion and it made you really think about your life and how you think about things, you know, are you positive or are you negative and that kind of thing. And so anything that will invoke emotions, you know, will really um, hit people, uh, you know, like make them think and, you know, have a, have a reaction to it. And also along with that is um, about sharing. If you're sharing a lot of content from other people, then that isn't necessarily um, good for your algorithm, Facebook algorithm. So you want to have original content. So yourself going live or quotes or posts from yourself rather than having the majority of your content being shared by somebody else. So if that means that if you go to somebody else's um, 
news feed and you like what they have and then you simply share it to your own news feed that's considered by Facebook not really having original content and so <clears throat> your organic reach on that you know isn't going to um, be very good so you want to have a lot of your own original content mostly on your feed okay and so those are my tips so in summary it's uh, having number one is just that value and just kind of you know giving value and thinking about what it is that um, you know your motivation behind posting something and number two is that not to be boring bring some energy into it number three is you know playing on the season or what's hot or some kind of topic or something in your life and four is showing up more you know engaging yourself on other people's information number five is using emojis and um, and visuals that's some pictures and and that kind of thing and number six is uh, using some call to actions in a special way, not using those uh, trigger words that we don't want to use. And number seven is, uh, you know, involving some kind of emotion or motivation. And then that should, you know, really help uh, get response and um, engagement on your, your posts and your information and your lives. So that's a wrap for me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever part of the day it is for you. If this has been of value to you, please let me know, and I'm going to be back on my reg regular schedule now, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays uh, in the morning about 9 a.m. or 9.30 today. I was a little bit late, and uh, so I really appreciate everybody that uh, supports me and comes out and listens on the replay or on the live. So thank you very much and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye for now. Have a wonderful day or evening.